So Sir True Caller was launched back in 2009. So what was the idea in your mind that I should go in this sector? So, you know, me and my co-founder back then, we were both working in different uh, international companies and uh, we were both receiving a lot of phone calls from different parts of the world. And, and you probably uh, recognize the moment when you sit in an important meeting and you, you get a call from a number you don't recognize and you go like, is this important to me or not? So that was sort of the simple idea that we, uh, you know, that we wanted. We had this problem that we just wanted to solve and we built it for ourselves and then gave it out to, to everyone to use and pretty early on we realized that there are more people that has this problem. What was the biggest challenge for you which came into your way while setting up this? I think uh, you know there's a uh, starting a company and, and growing it is always a big challenge. Uh, there's a lot of challenges uh, especially personally how you grow and, and learn new things. Uh, I don't think I have a specific big challenge that we've had, but the whole you know, journey has been uh, an exciting channel. So back in 2013, Truecaller had quite 10 million users, and now uh, somewhere around 2016, it's more than 100 million users worldwide. So how has been your journey in terms of growth and revenue so far? So growth, uh, you know, we've been very fortunate to have a fantastic organic growth. Uh, I think we're surpassing 300 million users pretty soon. In India, where two-thirds of uh, smartphone users are using TrueColor actively every day. So we're 130 million in India only. And um, you know, during the years, we've been focusing a lot on building a great product. Uh, and I think that has you know, been the fuel to our great growth. And this year, we started to, to monetize by launching our uh, advertisement platform. And so far, it's been going really well. So we're, uh, you know, we're very lucky so far. In 2015, you launched an SMS app called True Messenger exclusively for India. So how big do you think India is a market for True Caller? So True Messenger was a product that we saw that, you know, we, we've always been working in the, in the space of call communication. And we wanted to learn more about texting and messaging, which was why we launched it. We always had the ambition to be a global company and be everywhere. So we are growing really fast on, on you know, on many, uh, many more markets. Then obviously India has, uh, you know, a, a large population, much larger than many other countries. And the smartphone penetration is just taking off. And what we see now with G Reliance launching 4G um, at a, a much lower cost, these are great opportunities for any tech startup to kind of uh, capture the moment when hundreds and hundreds of thousand new people gets connected for the first time um, so it, it's super exciting to be here so do you consider um, geo or whatsapp as a competitors no, in the indian markets uh, not really i mean what you what you do compete with and everyone competes with, is the facetime uh, how do you get consumers actually uh, how do you bring value to your consumers that they spend time in your service i think that's what everyone is competing with but we try to not think so much about it and just think about what is it that our consumers don't like about True Color, so we can make it better. So you recently partnered with Flipkart and launched a product called eCart. So tell us about eCart. So what we did with eCart was uh, we launched something that we call True Color Priority. And it was born from um, the fact that we're blocking a lot of spam calls. We also understand that some of these spam calls are important to you. So we launched True Call Priority as a way for businesses who actually wants to reach consumers uh, to get a fast track. But the, the idea is that if they break the rules and start to harass our users, they're out again. So it, they are only supposed to use the priority lane if the consumer themselves has asked them to, to, to call them. And uh, there must be many products which are in the pipeline. So if you can name a few or maybe some, give some few details. We have uh, one of our biggest uh, uh, releases coming out in a couple of months. Uh, so we'll be having a pretty big release uh, like announcement here in India in a few months. So we're super excited about that. We try to have one big release every year. So in December last year we had one release. Um, and this year hopefully we'll have one more big. And are you open up for any kind of investments in the Indian market? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we um, just a couple of weeks ago, we announced uh, Tejinder, who joined True Caller. Um, so he's running the sales and operations here in India. 
previously he built the sales team for LinkedIn here in India. So he, he's joining he's joining us now, and our plan is under next year to actually expand the team that Tejinder will will do. So we're excited about that. What are your views on the Indian startup and entrepreneur ecosystem? Well, you know, I think it's um, it's very exciting to see a lot of new companies starting up and. Um, I think our job is to share experience and, and uh, you know, try to be, try to learn as much as possible from the companies in Silicon Valley. Because in Silicon Valley there's a lot of knowledge sharing and I think that's something we all need to work on.